Well, lucky for those fish, it's raining. Whoa, it's getting wet over here. Started a light rain. I looked out, didn't see much. The sun was shining when it started raining. Looked over toward the rubber farm or the mountains over there. Heavy rain, and it just moved right straight up to us. It's been raining for a minute. You can see the clouds over there. The sun was popping through there just a minute ago. Yeah, this rain was right down. Boy, it's heavy over there. The rain was right straight south of us. And it was pretty clear skies like that over here and on the other side. And it just moved right straight up on top of us. Oh, I didn't show this, but I got that white shit off that step the other day. I took a piece of steel wool, steel wool and just scratched it off there. It came off pretty easy. There's just water standing everywhere. Or durian trees out there. She hasn't got a plan yet. She dug the holes. I think she was waiting for the holes to dry up to put them in there, but we got news for her. They might be sitting there a while. I love it when it rains in the afternoon like this because it just cools everything off. It was actually pretty warm today. Um, humidity was fairly high, which is probably why it's raining, but uh, it's pretty well cooled off now. Oh, here comes the wind this way. A wind shifted because it was hitting me in the face over here a minute ago. Yeah, it's letting up over this way. I can see see the mountains now, so it ain't gonna rain much longer. Whoa! I went the kitchen door slamming shut. Look at the rain blowing under here. I got my computer here, and it's getting wet. It'll quit here. I'm gonna get the camera out of here too. My new phone is submersible, so I'll grab it, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, my mouse! That's another beautiful morning in paradise. A little bit warm and humid this morning. Um, as you can see, we got pretty blue skies over here. Lots of clouds off to the east. Um, typically, the clouds move from west to east here. Yesterday, they were moving from south to north all day. Um, but it really depends on the jet stream and whatever high pressure, low pressure systems moving through as far as which way the clouds are moving and the wind's blowing. But didn't look at the forecast because the forecast is never right. About the only thing they're ever close on is the temperature, and that's just because it's so consistent. But we're out by the pond again. Um, we got them bananas harvested, as you saw, and took the original plant out that they were on. Um, we also... Got this one tied up because it was starting to lean this way, so we tied it back to the pole there. These two were previously tied together. Um, I think that one's strong enough to hold that one up because it's not leaning that far yet. But we want to make sure that didn't go down on the fence. This was the one over here I was mostly concerned about here. And as you can see, I did get it tied off here. Probably going to have to do this one too. Now that I'm looking, I'll probably have to get one and run it over here. So I'll go get another piece of rope today and tie this one back to the Salah. Try to put high enough so we can walk under it without interfering, but should be okay. And then as soon as we harvest those, we'll cut that one off, get it out of there. So we can start getting some new ones here. As you saw, I chopped the crap out of these the other day. Didn't slow them down. They're just going to keep growing. These things are pretty indestructible unless you dig them up. But this started as, as one plant, that one over there. I think it was that one. might have been this one. I don't know. Less than a year ago, and it turned into this. Look at this. This is even pushing out of here. I think it's probably the pressure inside just squeezing it out. I don't know. The Suzu dealer contacted us yesterday. Apparently, they didn't have to build a car because they said they've got a VIN number already. So it won't be as long as what they thought. So apparently they found one somewhere in the country and they're probably just going to have it transferred over to them so they can get their money in the bank. So we're just waiting for a call from them. What's this piece of wire here? What the hell is that? Why is that laying there? Never noticed that before. 
little piece out of a gun. That wire goes down in there. I'm not sure what... I've never noticed that before. I'm going to try to figure that out. I need a pair of gloves first, though. As I said the other day, we got the money all prepped. It's ready to go, so just wait for a call from them. We'll go get it picked up. Uh, didn't indicate when that would be. Uh, we're not in a hurry, like I said, so whenever. I need to trim this branch off here because it's just going to end up out here in the walkway. This one, too. And I want to cut the ones off that coconut tree there at the end, sticking out over the walkway. No big plans today. Right now I'm going to get the camera shut off. I'm going to go over and I'm going to get something to cut this, that, and that, and then grab a piece of rope for that banana tree. Get that stuff off my list. Fish have already been fed. See, when it gets warm, they start getting out. There's my white fish. That thing's always swimming around up here, especially when he sees me said it before I've actually caught that one before and released him all right we're gonna get to work all right this is my last attempt at this fishing thing on camera have my lucky hat, I got my lucky shoes, I got my lucky paradise tea, my lucky fishing pole, my lucky snails. If I can't catch a fish now, I never will, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to go over there. Ooh, I was going to go under the Salah, but I think the water's too high. Yeah, hey, we'll just go over here and sit in the shade. I didn't want to sit in the sun. I'm going to sit in the shade of this tree right over here. I think my snails are dead. I didn't bring anything to smash them either. Found us a place in the shade. I'm gonna set you up over here first. Audio, video, audio, video. All right. Hopefully there's a couple of live snails left here because this one here is dead and it stinks. Hopefully there's no snakes or anything over here right now to get me. Oh, I got my other ropes on the bananas too that I talked about earlier. My God, those stink. That water, them dead snails. Whew, that shit's nasty. Snail water smells really bad. Ooh, this one stinks too. I think they're all dead. Oof. Oh, that is nasty. Catfish don't like that. They ain't gonna like nothing. I think they're all dead and rotten. So the Isuzu dealer just got a hold of some pit. They said they've got the car. They're putting all the trim and the tent and everything on it right now, so. Um, I imagine we'll go get it Monday. Whew, I just want to stick my fingers in something bad to get the smell out of them. Oh, it stinks bad. Worse than roadkill. That should be good for catfish. Some paradise tea, maybe that'll help. Whoa, there, did you see that? There we go. There we go. There we go. Just pull in line. Thing's acting like a a paku. No, it's a catfish. Let me go over to this corner and see if I can get him out over here. So the stinky, the stinky rotten snail was a trick. It's still on there, so I'll be able to reuse it. I'm gonna take this to the house. Pitt wanted it, and everything else I'm just gonna throw back. The other day she only wanted tilapia. Today I asked her if the catfish was okay. She said, yes, that's fine. Finally got one on camera. That's that foot part. It's kind of like cartilage, but it's just a real strong muscle. Mother humper, my fingers stink, man. We're gonna give this video, so I've only been out here like five minutes. I've edited the video, but total about five minutes to catch it once I got it in the water. Um, I'm gonna run the video about another five minutes and shut it off. So in the video the other day when I was talking about the uh, sugar cane that we kept from our house pole standing ceremony, we planted over there and I said there was something else we planted. I couldn't remember what it was. There's two banana trees right back here, higher than the Salah now, but uh, those two bananas were 
uh, part of that ceremony too. We planted them back here. Paku, paku. Okay, everybody, all together once. Paku, paku, paku. Come on, you didn't help me, man. I heard you. Oh, I missed it. I think it was a little one, but he got my bait. As usual, it's a beautiful morning in paradise. Um, on the land grab in the jungle, we'll update on that first. So, uh, Sabai and Sampit put their heads together, and sounds like they got somebody that wants to buy the farming rights to that thing. I don't even know how that works. Because the thing's just sitting there for 30 years empty, and I don't think there's any paperwork whatsoever on it. But I guess it's just honesty amongst the folks. So today, I think we're going to take Sabai out, show her where that property's at, so she can take someone out there later this week. And... Uh, See if they want to make an offer on it. To me, that's absolutely the best thing to do. And I think most of you agree from the feedback I've got. Wow, look how wet this grass is. It's just water standing everywhere here. Ooh, the swimming hole cleared up, cleared up. A lot of water bugs. Oh, there's a little frog right there. And the snail's crawling around. See his whiskers sticking out there. Man, look at the water standing here everywhere. Those are the durian trees we bought the other day. You kind of want to wait for these holes to dry up to put them in there, but personally, I think we ought to just stick them in there and then fill it with dirt, let the dirt push the water out. These trees require a lot of water, so I don't think that's going to hurt them. I'm afraid if we wait till that dries up, it'll be the dry season and it'll be harder to keep them growing. Anyhow, I think that's our best option for that property. It's either just walk away for it. If she can sell the rights to it, then that's fine. I told her just take that money and put it in an account for her mom to spend. Jeez, look at this. I know a bunch of you are saying, I told you so, I told you so, when I was talking about how I wanted to drain this property. But I'd rather have this than have big washouts here somewhere. Fishing last night, so I caught the one fish. I fished maybe another 10 minutes and I just wasn't feeling it, so I just packed up and left. But I did catch the one catfish, we cleaned it, and it is in the refrigerator. It is going to get eaten today. Not so doomy and gloomy and rainy. As you can see, not hardly a cloud in the sky. I'm kind of uh, regretting that the rainy season's almost over. Not looking forward to that hot, dry, what was it, January, February, March? Didn't rain for three months. Just sitting here doing some video editing. Um, I don't think I ever mentioned that. I moved out here about uh, probably a month ago. I kept sitting in there doing edits um, early in the morning or late at night because I didn't like being in there during the day. About a month ago, and maybe more than that, I don't know, I started dragging the laptop out here on days that I'm editing videos, and now I'm getting it done during the day. I'm far much better than trying to do it in the off hours. Um, plus, it gives me something to do now that we don't have a lot of projects. Even though I got a couple I want to do, I just haven't started on them yet. But uh, anyhow, I just realized today's the 28th. One year ago today, we arrived in Bangkok on a permanent basis, a day and a half there, getting banking stuff taken care of, and we arrived here on the 30th, which is in two days. And I just look around here and say, man, it is amazing what we accomplished in 12 months.
Salah right here. So it's kind of a deck or whatever hanging out over this edge a little bit because the ground actually, that's that ledge that was left in there. It's underwater right now, but set the legs to it right out on there. Yeah, one year ago today, we arrived in Thailand on a full-time basis. So far, do not regret one minute of it. Well, maybe a couple minutes, but... All right, we're back in the jungle. Sabai and uh, Sabai's mom and dad up in front of us here. I'm going to show Sabai where this property is. See, we can drive down here. This is gravel. Let's show her exactly where this property is. And uh, that way she can bring a potential buyer out here. So that's going to be some pit sister in the purple pants. I've seen these butterflies from the road. Look at this thing. Hopefully he'll sit there. Look at him. Look at the blue on them wings. So there's the marker we had in the other video. Down that way, 40 meters. This would be the best of all worlds. I guess mom paid 140000 for the rights to it 30 years ago or whenever. So some pit was saying as long as we can get her money back, she'll be happy. So to me, I think we ought to tell them about 250 And if they want to lowball them, let them lowball us and then take the money. Watch these. It rained all the way, just right up to about a mile from here. So, yeah, see that? Oh, it's even blowing down in here now. I forget what I called this the other day, but I was wrong. It's not what I said it was. But I'm not sure what it is. But he was saying she could take three of these leaves and send them to China and get like a buck a piece out of the leaves. Yeah, it was 40 wide and I think 280 long. I'm not walking down in there. Well, why would you plant your rubber tree on top of this? Watch for snakes and shit here. I'm going to walk up and wait at the truck. All right, so we made this waterfall location. Apparently, everybody else in Thailand has too. And like everywhere else in Thailand, loud speakers, either music or people talking that like to hear themselves talk, in my opinion. I didn't realize this place was this close. This is probably only 15 or 20 kilometers from our house, at the most. But I guess it's pretty busy out here on weekends all the time. I don't think I'll get copyrights on this because it sounds like somebody singing live. I forgot my money clip at home with my driver's license. Everything's in it. So it has got like 300 bot with her, so we ain't gonna get too much while we're here. We got our phone. Most of these places probably scan. There's food and snacks, looks like most of it. Got my trekkers on today. Threw them in the truck before we left because she mentioned a waterfall, so I just said I'm throwing them in. Looks like some good chicken there. Chicken and french fries. Yeah. Sandwiches, bugs flying around them. Some donuts. Okay. <laughs> 
It's a lot of food, huh? Texas Mark was down here, I think, last weekend. I didn't realize he was this close, and I didn't realize this is where we were coming today until I got on the truck and seen all the people. And then I recognized it from a short video Mark had sent me. I'm guessing it looks like that's where everybody goes. A lot of young kids here, so I'm assuming this is a, a thing to do on the weekends in this area because they're out here. There's no big towns around, so probably all come down here on the weekends to meet girls and vice versa. Like I said, it just rained. Well, be careful we don't get on slippery rocks and go for a ride. Uber had his soap, he's taking a bath. The guy in the cap. So Texas Mark and his family, I think, crossed the bridge. I said he think he said he went left 60 or 70 meters or something like that up there, and they had like a picnic. That's a pretty good fall down going down that way. That dog slips, he's in for a ride. It's dirty. Like I said, it was just raining. We were just probably maybe 10 kilometers up this way. And I'm going to guess this is the same river that we just crossed. We went out to the uh, jungle farm there. Some pit on the bridge. All right, let's go over there. People way up there. I think this is built better than most highway bridges. They go wide beams up there. We were just standing right there. God, steps. Well, these could be slippery. Well, not too bad. Audio, audio. Do what? More sandstone. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so looks like some of these folks are heading out. Wait, John Waterfall. Wait, John. Ah, uh -huh. is this like the district or is that the name of the river? This area? Okay. A lot of people. People all the way up the river. It's not too cold. Hello. 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 That rock hanging out over there. They got their own little pool to swim in there. Another one here. That's kind of cool. Actually, there's some all across here. Look at that one. It's kind of nice. Got your private little pool. There's a fish swimming in that one. A couple of them. Hello. Hello. I'd imagine the further up there you get, the more kids. This guy's trying to be a fashion model in the little hat there. She's taking pictures. He's trying to be cool. Some pit's trying to get wet. We're going to try to be cool. These pools are kind of cool. They're just sitting there like a little bathtub. One over there, one over there. There, 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 there. Everybody staring at the white guy. That's a good place to bring kids. Some of these holes might be deep enough to drown in, but 
they're not going to be very big. That could be pretty deep there, I don't know. Alright, we're going to fiddle around here a minute and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what comes up. Alright, so I just watched this girl in the orange shirt get in this hole. She is standing up right there. That thing's over a meter deep. I didn't watch the guy in the red. I was busy getting camera ready, but he looks like he might be standing. Yeah, I think he's standing up. Watch the girl in the orange. Jump. See? Standing up. The hole right to her right. She tried to step into it. She can't reach the bottom on it. Right above these two dogs. The hole right behind her back. She tried to get in there. She couldn't even reach the bottom. She gave up. She was clear up to her shoulders. Tom okay, had to stop to get something to eat. Are those silkworms? Yeah, silkworms. And some noodles. Of course, as you know by now, I don't eat lunch, so I'm not eating anything. It is so freaking humid. I'm just wet with I'm just wet with sweat. It's so humid, it won't evaporate at all. It's probably I'm guessing 95 degrees with 95% humidity. Another quintessential Thailand moment. 95 degrees, 95% humidity. Loud loudspeakers. A bag of bugs and a bowl of noodles. I'll share it with you. Thanks for joining us, Paradise in Thailand.